Usually, usually uh, people come over, see if I'm alright, help me fix the door, and I go back to work. You know what? How about how about you two, you three, carry on? Um, I'm gonna stay with with our friend here, and make sure she's not going to blow up again. I don't really care yep. about libraries, right. anyways. Ha- sure. It happens all the time. Lily, it's like she's prepared for it. Yeah, she's prepared for this stuff. We aren't. Uh, Zul will speak up. Yeah, actually, we're... Well, um... Maybe you could help us. We're trying to figure out some things this town. Do you know it well? Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I've been here for a good few years now, right? I know could, pretty could well. You, could you maybe guide us around, then? It'd be uh, nice to have a guide. Uh, yeah, just, um... Let me just grab a few things, and I'll, uh... I've got to put my... Uh, actually, I can keep the mask. I might need to get repaired, um... Mm, uh, yes, yeah, be, be right a second. While she's doing that, Lily's gonna help fix the door. <laughs> and then uh, Zul will probably go up and try to help as uh, well. If you, just hold that, if, if you just hold that, I can uh, quickly just do some tinkering on the hinges and... Uh, do mending to fix the hinges and stuff. Get, no, alright then, I won't, do tin, I won't do any tinkering. <laughs> I will do the one thing on. that I'm really, really, really good at. But actually, I didn't do it too well that time. I, I don't know doors. <laughs> All right. Um, this is like done. Is uh, Lily gonna ask at any point like what a gun is exactly? Oh, she will soon. Okay. I was just curious if she was. <laughs> um, no. So you'll get the door finished or finished fixed without too much issue. Okay. Uh, leaving the group of you now free to head out and explore a little bit more. So what's I'll be gun? right back. I need to step out. Okay. You check something. Okay. What's a gun? Uh. Uh, you mean uh, like like this? And she pulls out um the pistol that it look is very crudely put together. Oh, I got one of those too. She's gonna pull out the mall from the bag of holding. Uh, Azul, uh, kind of shake your head. That's, no. That that's not the same thing. Uh, Lily, do you have you ever seen a cannon on a ship? That the cannons are like. Ten times bigger than that, though. Yeah, but this is the principle in a smaller, s- smaller scope. Uh, Just, look, ah. th- think about it. Th- think about it this way: you see the giant clouds, and then the th- lightning bolt strikes, and then uh, Lana will just start doing like, like a shocking grasp in her hand. Same thing on smaller scale. Yeah, I'm just gonna put them all back in the bag of holding. Uh, I don't think uh, I should probably put this back I'm not allowed to actually wave it about <laughs> I can understand it's people here are really I wouldn't expect them to have been so welcoming yeah such an idea yeah and yeah. Zul just seems a little confused herself yeah I just, I just a vent here I don't, don't do anything to actually go out and hurt people once we get out of this city, I'm really interested. Can we take you with us for a little bit so you can show me how to how that thing works? I mean, like a cannon when it fires, it goes flying back really fast. So how does that even work? No, I I think that for the best, it's probably not. Oh, oh, okay. Azul will kind of stop for a second and she'll just be thinking. Um, actually. We might have a few things that might interest you to look at. Oh. Uh. Uh. uh, uh and things. She'll, she'll stop for a moment. And she'll reach into her pouch and she'll pull out. Well, it was along the trip. Cuprum ended up making a like, key remade his little robotic hummingbird, and he made a second one and gave it off to Azul. And she'll hold that out for uh, Cheeky to look at. <gasps> gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. <laughs> and. Just allow Shiki to take it. Uh, just, Shiki's gonna look it over. Such craftsmanship. Metal. The metals. How how it easily moves. What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? What'd you get? Uh, um, a friend of mine made it. Oh, no, no, I shouldn't take it apart then. That'd be bad. Oh no, it's it's. Don't worry about it. I could probably make another one if I tried. Lily's gonna no, reach no, into no. the bag of holding and pull out the clockwork spider. Oh yeah, we still do have that. And show it to her. This thing has been kind of beaten up, but Shiki, I'm gonna say, will probably be able to get a good feeling for how it was supposed to work before it got smashed. Uh, this needs repair. Um, 
Yeah, we hmm. haven't really tried to find anyone to fix it, but you seem to be really interested in these little mechanical thingamajigs. I, I, if we were in, if we were at my shop, I could have done it. You should have said something earlier. Oh well, we're well, not well, in we're going to be here for a little while, so yeah. we have to look into things. We can so, do that. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, who are you again? Oh, my <laughs> name's Lily. Lily Calvin of Haven. Haven. She's from really far away. Haven. Uh, rings a bell. Azul will kind of stop for a moment and she'll introduce herself. I would be Azuli, and I suppose I live for the most part in Storm's Reach. Mm -hmm. No, don't ring a bell. And she kind of looks a little sad at that point. I, I don't look a lot. You don't look a lot of remember anything. No, uh, not from a. I only remember the last 10 years. And she'll kind of just look away for a second, thinking. How old are you? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm thinking if she's supposed to be younger than Azul or not. Just, just slightly. I think she was just, just slightly. Yeah. Though she has, though, though she's smaller but has assets. <laughs> this is Azul you're talking about, though. Keep that in mind. Shh, quiet. Yeah. Azul will stop for a moment and she'll just think it. Um, I. I think she's a little younger than me, if I remember right, but that, uh, I never actually really spoke to her much. Do I know you? Azul kind of just stopped for a second. I, not me personally, no, but I knew of you back home. Uh, back. Oh. Mm. Stop confusing the poor girl. I, I don't really understand. You say you for, don't remember anything before ten years ago. It's all stuff from before ten years ago. Right. All right, give me a step. Be right back. Mm -hmm. uh, go to lootcrate.com and type in... No. Google. No. <laughs> I will smack you. We aren't going to commercial. I will smack you. If I was getting money from them, absolutely go ahead. But I'm not. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, I would laugh. That's perfectly timed for the end of one of the video uploads. Because I will put that at the end of one of the video uploads if it's within that time frame. Uh, uh, dang it, Val. All right. So for those of you who aren't actually figuring things out, there is going to be a bit of party switching around at times right now, which... I'm eh. sorry. What happens, happens. And I'm not going to fully object to it. Besides, the uh, new players do have slight sorry. penalties sorry about for... Sorry about that. Yeah, slight penalties for making a new character, which is, say, their stats got a little bit of a hit compared to everyone else. Their yep. stats are still really good. All right, carry on. Uh, confusion? <laughs> yeah, she was just kind of confused. And Azul, it's... <sighs> I kind of knew of you before 10 years ago. There was a lot of things going on back then. Oh. Well, uh, I guess it's nice to meet you. Again? Yeah, and Azul Maybe. kind of pulled out her hand to shake. Uh, she shakes her hand. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's uh, nice to meet you again. So this this is uh, pretty odd. Yes, it's not the strangest thing that's happened. Hold yeah. on, ten years ago, that was back when I was like eight or so. Um... Wasn't that and she the looks, war? And she looks really young. <laughs> that, <laughs> Jeeps. Um, Lily would know that was ten years ago. Was the end of the war? Wasn't that towards the end of the war? <laughs> <laughs> Azul, like, probably it's things are really confusing around that time. I didn't. I, I didn't know of any war when I woke up. Mm -hmm. How old hmm. were you? Ten? Or, well, you you don't look like ten years. Yet. I'm confused. Anyways, we're heading to the library. Yeah, we should probably explain what we're looking into. All right. All um. Right. Yeah, Azul actually probably explained that, and she'll explain a little bit more because she seems trusting enough, and at least knowing 
what Shiki's skills should have been. And she'll explain, um, we're looking for a number of advanced little devices and machines. Then we know there was supposed to be one in this area, and we wanted to look more into that and more into other things as well. Would you be willing to help us? I, I could help you. Uh, for technology. Oh. That was my printer. What I could possibly make. Anyway, um, yeah, yeah, I... Uh, so Sorry, you, yeah, come here. You said that you were um, from another world or something, right? Azul nods. And Falana, we're looking for information on another world for yeah. you as well. Maybe we can find some information on where Shiki came from. Well, if it's all no Shiki, then it's possible they're from the same world. Not to mention we're the same race, it's highly possible. Yes, but... Either way, from what my understanding is that world shouldn't be anymore. Right, to the library. Yeah, let's, 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 let's see if there's anything recorded. It's good to be administration here. We are outsiders. We do need to get permission, very least. We are uh, going to check actually, if you, actually, if you're with me, I um, it's all good. Mm. But that'll make things a lot simpler then. So we could go right to the library and look into things. Uh, yeah, as long as you uh, stay, stay near me. Um, if you guys have seen on your own running off, um, the guards will probably shackle you. Oh, oh they're that harsh? Uh, they can be. They might be uh, a little more harsh you know, for people who um, blow things up, though. No, 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 no that's part of uh, the agreement. Um, but you, you see the big wall around? There's a reason there's a big wall. <laughs> Defenses for outsiders to prevent siege from the town. It probably wasn't originally in the academy. Exactly. Mm. All right, then we'll lead the way to the library. Then we'll start looking into things. Uh, Shiki slowly leads eventually into the library. So, um, you're looking for, you're looking for a uh, odd um, mechanical inventions. Well. You, yeah, you, pretty much. We're trying to find a collection of them. You, you, you're not here to take my uh, firearm for me, are you? Yeah, it's a little shaker head. I'm not really trained. I couldn't shoot straight with one if I tried. I uh, that's probably, probably could, but I'm not going to try. I probably could hit something, but I'd, no, I'd, I'd rather swing this thing around. She pulls her sword out just enough so you can see the, the great sword itself, the blade. And then she sheathes it again. Oh. So All you're right. a, a warrior then? Oh, uh, I, I can swing a sword. That's about all she's good at. And uh, you seem to have a, a bit of a left mouth, but uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Come on then, <clears throat> let's get going. The library! The library. Library. All right, and you'll come to the library, which I'm going to say, for our particular purposes, will be this building, because it's a big building. Which building? Uh, uh, there building. we go. That's a big building. That's <laughs> pretty library-ish. Or one um, of them. And as you head up to there, you're... With Shiki as your guide, you're able to kind of just walk in. Um, the librarian at the front door doesn't really stop you so much. It's just... Looks at Shiki and she'll just kind of narrow eyes with a side. She just kind of pinches the bridge of her um, nose. I, I promise, no explosions. I promise. Friend of yours? Just <laughs> make sure there are no explosions. Mind the signs. It's supposed <laughs> to be a quiet area. I do not wish to have somebody follow you and cast silence every five seconds again. What? What? If you if you don't mind me asking, since we're here looking for something specific, could you possibly give us information on two things? Uh, technological advancements and dimensional boundaries. Hmm, those are two odd little categories to look into. The first, however, well, as much as it pains me to admit it, she is the authority on these technological advances, and she has been doing the town a great wealth of research and investigation into them. As for dimensional boundaries, you may have to look into the Eldritch wing of the library. Just do be careful should you hear chanting in some language you can't understand. It is advisable to close your or cover your ears, 
mutter a soft prayer and back away slowly. Yeah. Um, I think I'll stay with a technological advancement yeah. area. Yeah, it gets pretty weird. You know what? That sounds like just a place we need to look. So let's continue. <laughs> just, just don't open the book with tentacles on it. It, it, it gets weird. Do you have well, the one with the tongue on it? That's another bad one. Do you yeah. have a children's section with lots of pictures and interesting no. stuff? No, no, we don't. Oh, you would want to have the children's library across the road. Uh, I suppose that would be a bad time to go over, though, as it is currently nap time. Yeah. <laughs> I could use a nap. Anyways, lead on. Stupid books. Uh, okay, so... Technical advancements. Look for anything in particular? Like, you saying... D different technology and oh, machines let's say, is... Let's say a tank. From what my understanding is a walking house. A uh, mechanical wyvern. So, okay, so, uh, uh, machines you can go in, um, Lily's gonna. You're gonna want to roll a few investigation checks on this. Mostly weapons. Lily's gonna yeah, pull yeah. out a piece of paper or something. Uh, she probably has, like, that canvas. And she's gonna draw the, the sigil, sigil on it. The sig yeah, sigil. Yeah, everyone, symbol. everyone roll an investigation check. Shiki already has. Would I get also get advantage anyway? Oh my goodness. Nope. Oh my freaking god. Falana can't. Uh, Falana apparently opened up the technical book. So she has now been stuck staring into the void for the past probably hour. <clears throat> the rest of you, however, Alana, you're just kind of distracted by the sheer amount of knowledge within this place, and you're just not able to focus yourself too well on finding one particular topic because you just see yourself dripping from one bit of amazing knowledge to another. Lily, however, in her extreme desire to not want to be around the books as much as possible, with Shiki's aid, you're able to find a small... It's not so much of a history book. I'm going to slide that go. It's not so much like a history book. It appears to be like more of a journal of sorts. And opening it up, it does make a few indications of um, knowledge that's been found. And it was written by a traveling wizard who just spent his life traveling and observing things. He wasn't really much of a battler. And in fact, he makes a few mentions of points where he would have been dead if he was not able to teleport away in time. Um, oh, it's a good book. <laughs> yeah. And he mentions a few things, just these strange little devices he's seen, like talk about how um, he's heard that there's been wondrous things found up in the Dwarven lands, though he hasn't been able to get particularly close because Dwarves are pretty good about stopping people who know how to use magic. Um, and though he hasn't been able to do much investigating there, he has, and a few other places, been able to investigate where goblins have found these amazing things things that they have no right to be able to use. This living machine lobster device which he's seen in one of the forests and more closely to this area which um, you can assume this is the only copy of the book and he pretty much wrote it and left it here in um, Runeheim. It mentions like up north how he's seen this wondrous flying boats piloted by nothing but goblins. Nothing much more beyond all that though. He does make a mention though that he has seen a strange similar design among both of those. Okay. And he kind of makes a crude picture of it, and the picture of itself, it is horrible. You get the feeling that it might be of the sigil, and that this guy is just a horrible artist, or he didn't get a, a clear look at it. You're not this, sure which. This is why Lily found it so quickly. She was looking for pictures. Yep. <laughs> and this is probably the only picture in the book. <laughs> Can we, uh, can we borrow this book? Buy it, maybe? Burn it? Um, Shiki will know that the library isn't very fond on the idea of people taking the books out. They, they have no problems if somebody copies a book or something to that effect, or reading it if you wish, but they don't like the books leaving the library. Yeah. Depends. Do you want to lose your hands? Not particularly. You best put it back. You can, uh, if you need to want to make notes. Uh, hey, I got, I got some paper on me. You can uh, 
you can you can write, right? Yeah, I can. Uh, it's been a little while though. No, no, I'll, I'll make I'll, I'll make copies. I'll make, I'll make a few. Just point out what you Azul need. Azul will kind of, of stop for a moment and she'll reach in the bag of um, bag of holding and she'll pull out a fun little trinket that you guys got ages ago. Mm -hmm. The Quill of Dictation. Remember that from the Oni Manor? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And Azul was... kind of just. I was explicitly yeah. instructed by Risu to never touch it, so... Azul don't care. Azul <laughs> was never told all that. So so Lana, Azul... Lana is having fun with a tentacle bit right now, that so... That was yeah. only for Lily. Lily's not allowed to touch it. <laughs> so Azul takes it and she just kind of starts using that to dictate and copy from, like, she'll read the book aloud and the quill will record down what the book is saying. As that's happening, Lily's going to go find Falana, notice what's happening, then back away and go back to Shiki. Falana, roll wisdom save. <laughs> you were able to tear yourself away from the tentacle book, closing it. Well, well, as much of an interesting read as that is. <laughs> Would you say it's quite steamy? <laughs> oh, yeah, it's quite. Anyways, Alana's probably just gonna check out of her books. Unless somebody mentions something, because she's been in days. No, Lily's not mentioning anything. Okay. Right. Um, does, <clears throat> what is Alana looking for otherwise, since she probably has more time? Dimensional boundaries effectively. Elana, not Maybe. Falana. Oh, Alana. Uh, I don't I know what she'd be really looking for. She'd probably just keep going from book to book, like you mentioned earlier. All right. Um, at some point, Elana, you'll see one of the librarians kind of walk up to um, her and ask, oh, "You're a uh, rather curious little child." So, is that a problem? Uh, no, it's just not often we have the children in these parts just see so interested in the books. They're far more interested in running around and uh, bapping each other on the head with these rather... And it kind of glances over. You can see he's glancing at Shinky. Interesting toys. <laughs> you see uh, Lily kind of whap uh, Shinky on the back of the head lightly with uh, an interesting toy. Or a book. Mm -hmm. She'll use a book. And then she'll giggle. The, out, out, the, the, the toys are soft, the books are not. <laughs> I, shall we say, had an interesting childhood. Hmm. Were you able to be... You don't look like a noble's child who would have been taught from birth. I was <laughs> taught from birth, but not as a noble. Is it, is it, at this point, I at this point, Shiki's going to come over and offer, offer Elana, uh, Elana basically the equivalent of a phone bat. <laughs> She'll take it and then just kind of throw it and say, go fetch. Well, who's going to go fetch? Uh, oh my, and you've already trained your companions. Should I? <laughs> I don't know if I sh should be offended by that. Or... That's... Well, <laughs> Azul kind of just shakes her head and places her hand on Shiki's shoulder. Don't feel offended. That's what she's like. But... Weird, weird, weird child. Weird child. Definitely weird. Mm. Well, she's gonna... a nice body, though. I'm well, just going to take the foam sword and put it in the bag of holding for now. Okay. It How deals one silly damage. Yes. Yeah. I didn't think... I, I, I know I pulled that out of my ass silver, but I thought it, just, it wouldn't do anything. So... It deals one silly damage. It doesn't actually hurt you, it just makes you feel silly. <laughs> Oh, it deals the silly damage to the person doing it. Okay. Yep. <clears throat> All right. Um, the man, the librarian, will essentially look back at one. Have you ever had the chance to finish your studies? You probably wouldn't have a place here. Unfortunately, I did not have the chance to finish. Hmm. Something it... happened, shall we say? He kind of seems rather interested in this, and you could roll insights if you wish. Oh, that was an insight. Sorry. <laughs> why? You are why already have that I put in. <laughs> Guess Lily. Why did you expect that? <laughs> Alana, you get the feeling that this man 
is rather intent on getting you to stay and learn. You don't get the fact that that's anything particularly relating to you. More the fact that, and Falana will definitely be able to tell this, he's essentially trying to meet, reach a quota for students. Mm. Well, you better be um, happy that I was actually thinking about maybe enrolling in a school eventually. Ah, uh, really? I I feel like I need to finish my training, but, but my previous instructor is, shall we say, incapacitated. Ah, uh, yes, that is a terrible thing. But I assure you, the instructors here at Runeheim are far among the best in this world. That's why they got me. Mm. Yes. yes, well, you it is very hard to be anything but the best if you're the only one in your field. Uh, I, you, you're mean. That's okay, Shiki, you can try. Yes, I'm told that I'm mean. Yeah. I don't know if it uh, matters, but I am not trained as a wizard, but as a sorcerer. Hmm, so you have natural arcane skills. That is, we have some who are trying to press their knowledge of such skills. And though you would not learn from a book such as myself, you would still be able to be taught in some manner of the ways, though it would be more towards extending the skills you have instead of learning new ones. All right. Yeah. Excuse, excuse me, just got, I got a quick ass. Your, does your daughter st st still like that music box I gave her? Mm. Yes, mm. actually, and as much as it pains me to say it, I am very grateful for that. <laughs> she has been falling asleep every night thanks to it. <laughs> uh, Wait, you make things mm. that don't explode? Mm hmm the trick yes. with mm -hmm. the trick with the natural arcane ability is she simply needs to refine her talent. It's not a matter of studying, she needs to have more field experience. Ah, but if she wants to learn regardless, there is more to learn than just the arcane arts. There is history, knowledge, religion, all of these things. I mean, after all, we don't simply teach you how to do things, we teach you if you should do th things. Been there, done that, most boring time of my life. <clears throat> you slept yeah. through class, didn't you? No, I wasn't allowed to sleep through class. They would bop me on the nose. As well, they should. They, they should. <clears throat> Wait, Alana, you're not planning on well, leaving us, you... are you? <clears throat> maybe, maybe. It. I feel it almost better for me to leave as magic that I've been using as it stands has been much more shall we say wild and dangerous and I feel training can make it more precise and not as dangerous to others at this point Azul will probably run up and hug Alana alright I'll give a hug back uh but Hmm. Are are you going to be okay? I mean, when we found you. Well, that was a different situation. Uh, if she is officially a member of Runeheim, she'll uh, she'll basically be accommodated for. Yes. After all, we do take good care of our students. All right. I hate libraries. Uh, <laughs> and then Alana will just toss a bag that she'd already had prepared at Lily. What's this? Wow, a lot of people have done some preparing. <laughs> no, well, a lot when Alana heard of Runeheim was a mad academy. age school academy, she'd started preparing. So what's, you, what's this? Uh, all the things that I won't need if I'm uh, to be in a school. So you might need some of those things. I wouldn't discount the necessity of certain things. I'll keep good care of them. Well, that, we'll go through what she's keeping and what's, what's going. Zul like, kind of uh, pat Lily on the shoulder. We can come back and visit her. You know where she is. I'm always, yeah. That, 
You don't understand. She's going to be in school. <laughs> and, Is there and, a problem with school? It's it's like torture. I wouldn't exactly call it school. It's school, is school, very case. school is torture is different between people. How is school torture? It's not my fault that you're highly uneducated and completely worthless in regards to any degree of intelligible speech. Well, I'm going to hold up the book she found. Did you find anything useful yet? I've been focused on trying to find the stuff about the you, You've actually been staring at that tentacle, tentacle book I told you not to touch. Yeah, as as they're bickering, <laughs> as they're bickering, Alana will just start walking away. Mizzou will kind of just wave, but she won't say anything. Hey, Kit, Alana, try to make some friends out there. Yep. Also, Alana handed uh, Azul a note that said, say goodbye to Cassidy for me. Yep. All right. Lily will wave goodbye as well. Okay. Sadly. All the party changes time. All my All friends right. are leaving me. And you're concerned about this. Change happens all the time. You shouldn't be afraid of it. I think we need to just keep looking for books. You can help me find stuff on the dimensional boundary. Come on. <laughs> At this point, Zo will kind of put her hand on um, Lily's shoulder for a second, and she'll kind of speak up. Actually, we could probably head out for a little while, with Lily, and come back. Um, I think I could sense one of the ley line interactions nearby here, and I, you could we could set up a place so that we could always come back here and come visit. Yeah, well, there's better than sticking around here. But yeah, I can set up. I can help set up the uh, ley line as well. I have no problem with that. You should keep looking. Um, I'm sure there's more places in here, that, or more information here you can find. Lily will will uh, hand Falana the book that she had. There's some interesting stuff in here too. This particular book just had the information of um observations regarding the what you know now to be the apparatus, and as well as like goblins riding some sort of flying boat. As much as a flying boat does interest me, I'd rather try to figure out how to get through the dimensional boundary for multiple reasons at this point that could possibly. Lily's already later left on. the building. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So the three, um, yeah, the two of them. I don't know if Shiki was gonna follow or what Shiki was gonna do. Hello. Oh wow! Oh, my my Discord died. Um, where Lily would have invited <laughs> Shiki to go with her. Yeah, Zul and um, Lily are going off to essentially set up the ley line to be able to tra uh, travel back here with the apparatus, and Lily invited Shiki to come along. Oh, I'll, she'll come along. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to pretty much say that they pretty much parked, I said pretty much a lot there, they parked the apparatus right next to the interaction. So going back there, they'll see um, Cassie sitting atop a big iron barrel with a drink in hand. So, Shiki, remember when we said we had some pretty interesting things you might be interested in looking